he's gonna win his first MVP. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Blue Jays. I am your host, Adam Petal. And I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog. And today, we're doing, we're, we're following up our top five, and we're, we're going even further. Oh, going further than whoa, top five. Further? How, how, we're, what? we're doing more. We're doing what, more. How much more? How much more? Five. We're doubling the amount. <laughs> We're doubling it up. And to it's gonna 10? Be 10. Oh my God. We're doing top 10 outfielders. And I'll be honest, this was the one that I was looking forward to the most yeah, yeah. since we started this because there are a lot of elite guys in this. But before we break down who we think the top 10 outfielders will be in 2021. Please make sure to subscribe, like, comment down below, join Patreon, mm -hmm. do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... There was a lot of guys here. Yes. We had to make a lot of concessions. There was people who should have probably made the list, guys who are elite in the MLB, but couldn't because mm -hmm. there were other guys who were going to be a leader. And guys, this is also <laughs> preference. Yeah, leader. This is also preference, guys. This is going into 2021. All right. So this is a bit of a projection video and a you know, a bit of bit of a who has done it, who we think is actually gonna be one of the top ten yeah, yeah. So, right? Sorry, to, to clarify, going in 2021, mm -hmm. you mean like what we think who's gonna pop off? Who's in gonna 2021? who's gonna have the top ten here? Who's gonna be in the top ten? <laughs> for, for 2020 of outfielders, okay, right? Okay, okay, we're on so, the same page. So so to you know consider this, right? We're gonna start off with an honorable mention and explain you know a couple reasons why some guys are left off this list that people are going to be like hold up hold up what what two honorable mentions two honorable yeah. mentions two honorable mentions the first one is marcel ozuna mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he would have been there but he played dh all last year so we depending on where he plays and who he signs with which i'm shocked that he hasn't signed yet yeah um we'll determine that so we're just leaving him off because we don't want to yeah, touch that's, that that's the thing because he literally slugged 636 last yeah. year it just yeah. so happened yeah. that almost all of those games were played in the dh spot yeah and you know, like we don't even like he might not even be an outfielder next year. So depending, right? Yeah, we don't even know. And the other guy, <laughs> New York Yankees fans may hate this, but the other guy is Aaron Judge. Mm. Just because, look, I just simply don't think he's going to be top ten because he's just going to be hurt the whole. Yes, year. yes, exactly, exactly. I I really think that this guy, like, he cannot slug below like five forty, mm. and if he Amazing. does stay healthy the entire year. He will 1,000% be a top 10 outfielder. Oh, yeah. My quarrel is with the fact that he will not stay healthy <laughs> the whole year. And this guy is just too big for baseball. He's yes. just such a monster. <laughs> he um, should be a tight end, really. Yeah, he no, his body was meant for tight end. And, um, yeah, it literally, it's like, I just think this guy is so jacked <laughs> that he's just too much he's not flexible enough it's just like well not yeah. saying i mean he's probably way more flexible than both of us oh hell yeah, <laughs> but hell yeah. but still you get the point he's just yeah he's just so gets hurt if he too does much. stay healthy which i hope he does um because we never like to see anyone go down with injuries nope. he would make the list but i don't think he will so let me introduce the 10th guy the 10th guy who we are mm -hmm. projecting to be elite in 2021 that guy is on the new york mets a scary team nowadays that guy is Michael Conforto. Yeah, Michael Conforto might be a shock to some of you guys, but Michael Conforto has been really, really good. He had a great 2020 year. Um, you know, just to preference, just a couple of his numbers. He hit 322, nine home runs, 31 RBIs, and has really stapled himself into that that middle of the order, reliable piece in that in that lineup. And what what, is, what else do you like about Michael Conforto? Nick? I like that he's 27 years old, and we're just entering prime time right now. And one thing I like too about this guy is that his slugging has always been there. He's always been very good at hitting with power. He hasn't been so good at hitting with contact. Now, we know that last season was a shortened sample size, but he was elite at hitting for all, all, like, all across the board last year. So I'm really hoping and I'm anticipating that Michael Conforto, being 27, entering his prime, will maintain that power and will add to the contact, yeah. and will have an excellent season for the New York Yeah, Mets. they're going to be huge, especially if he's batting in Lindor, and he's opposing a threat on the base paths. And yeah, you want to talk you know? about how competition breeds good players. Well, yeah. that team 
That team looks good. Speaking of breeding good players and having high competition in the lineup, number nine is Eloy Jimenez. Mm. That man mm. is coming into his third year. He's only 24 years old, but what really sticks out to me with Eloy Jimenez mm -hmm. is his power. Yes. His power's yes. unreal. Yes. His expected slugging is at 532. Yes. And yes. he hit 14 home runs last year. If he were to play a full season, he would have hit 37 home runs. And he's just entering his third year. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. really good. This what do you like? This guy is only going to get better. He's only going to get better. And the White Sox are a scary, scary team right now. Having a young guy who's only going to get better. This guy reminds me a lot of, um, well, or or I guess th th this is the type of player that I want Vladdy to be. Lots of power. And his contact is still very, very good, too. Like, last year, he batted 296. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and he so, was expected to even hit 275. So, he got, felt a little lucky, unlucky there. Um, Realistically, he is he is solid. And I can only expect that this guy to be better. I think he's really going to be a stud in the league, man. Yeah. So, I, I think I'm, I'm projecting a massive breakout year for Eloy Jimenez. If, if you even want to call it breakout, because he's yeah. already... It's already here. Broken out. It's already here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who else you got now at number eight? Right, right. Number eight is the Ooh. one, the only, the one hundred and fifty dollar man who we, fifty dollar million dollar man million dollar man. <laughs> that would be a steal if yeah, we got him for that. But we signed him to the Toronto Blue Jays. He's our guy now. We're giving away one of his jerseys yes. to one of you lucky people. His name is George. Springer. George Springer. Springer dinger, baby Springer Dinger. Springer Dinger. And you know what? He doesn't just hit dingers. Well, he hits dingers and he hits for average. Yeah, he and, hits a lot of dingers. And he hits a lot of dingers. But what, what also stands out that's great to me is I really love war and his average offensive war in his whole career is 4.13 which is excellent. This is amongst one of the one of the greats mm. uh, amongst all the outfielders right now. And there isn't not much like about him. Actually, Eloy, Eloy Amenez has had a better slugging, so I'll just give you a little preference on mm -hmm. the potential Eloy Amenez has. Mm -hmm. But his expected slugging is still good at 5.06. Yeah. Um, I want to bring up as well his splits from home and away in 2017. Mm -hmm. As everyone knows, it's the cheating year. Cheating. He's not a cheater. Well, yes, yeah, he, he, is. Is. he is. He is. <laughs> but the numbers don't really show that the cheating helped him in any way. Because, as we know, the camera was at their home ballpark mm -hmm. in Houston. But his home OPS in 2017 was 876, whereas away numbers are 902. And the same thing happened in his uh, in his 2019 year, where they were still cheating. He still had better away numbers. So I'm not worried. I think George Springer's still going to be excellent. Oh, yeah. No, I think he's going to be solid for sure. And I guess if makes anyone feel better, the cheating didn't really help. Um yeah, I mean, I don't, still did it, but uh, but you it still did help, it. But so. we are going to forgive. Yeah, yeah, we we're going, going to, forgive, to forget. We're gonna forget. Move on. And, uh, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna leave that in the past. <laughs> Tell me who's number seven. Number seven, we've got the bearded angel. He's not an angel. Sorry, he's a Philly. Bryce Harper coming oh. in at the number seven spot. Nick, you love Bryce Harper. You've had him in fantasy. I do love years. Bryce Harper, man. And I feel like, honestly, like Bryce Harper's the type of guy where at any given moment or at any given season, this guy could come in and, and win MVP. And it's like he's just he's got a floor. Mm -hmm. um, like you, you can just expect this guy to have an OPS of pretty much 900, which is fucking awesome. Yeah. You know, and he just does that. And uh, it's like, this is just what Bryce Harper does. Yep. And he's going to hit like 35 plus home runs. And he's going to slug crazy good. And his batting average will be good. It's not going to be crazy good, but it will be good. Yeah. Um, and he's, just he's just a producer. He's just a producer, bro. He's he just a freaking producer. You know? He is the type of guy that you want to have in the middle of your lineup at yeah. all times. Oh, yeah. Uh, just at all times. Here's another, here's another fun stat about Bryce Harper. He produces. He gets on base. He gets on base a crazy amount just to bring out his career uh, on base percentage is 387, but he's always in the top 1% almost every single year. I think there was like one year since 2015 that he wasn't in the top 1% yeah, yeah. in walk percentage. No, he's got it's he's unreal. got an amazing eye, dude. Like he's got like a Biggio-esque eye yeah. 
with you know incredible incredible with power, power. power. <laughs> and and even yeah and better contact than than Biggio. you know if, if Biggio was to get like really <laughs> okay I, I mean if, yeah I guess if Biggio was just better than if Biggio be, was like, just, if Biggio yeah. just because Biggio's got pop I feel like Biggio does have pop his expected numbers don't really show it but like you can see it when he plays right uh, with, with the eyeball test you know the little biased opinion here mm-hmm. but if he just made more consistent contact I think that would really help him out with the with yeah, looking his, his do, numbers looking good i do right. i do think he's he's got a ways to go before he's bryce harper but right. you know what uh bryce harper at number seven he is he is a Consistent, solid solid guy solid at number six um this is a man who had a bit of a down year last year uh but i don't think anyone is worried about it uh he is 25 years old right now still very young cody bellinger on the la dodgers <laughs> Won the World Series this past year. Um, yeah. Won the MVP in 2019 and fell off a bit in 2020. But I do anticipate a major bounce back in 2021. Oh, yeah. me, and me too. And, and here's why, right? Um, expected numbers, right? Um, again, he hit he hit a batting average of 239. Mm-hmm. You know, not not great. But no, his expected bad. batting average was bad. His expected batting average is 284. Very so good. he just got very unlucky. And here's another crazy stat with the war, his offensive war. He's This is the second best offensive war amongst outfielders in the MLB of 5.5. Mm. He's second best right now. Mm-hmm. So that's crazy. Uh, you don't just do that for four years that he's played and just fall up short. He's going to be great. His ceiling is high sky, uh, high. High sky, high sky high. My, my bad. Yeah, there you go. Sky high, and he's only twenty five, mm-hmm. and he's only a year removed from his MVP season. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he's dude. gonna. Make. I do think that he will probably in twenty twenty one mash again, similar to Harper, upwards of thirty five home runs. You know, over a hundred RBIs, over one hundred runs. You know, being in that LA Dodgers lineup obviously helps those production numbers a lot. Yeah, but don't get yeah. it twisted. He is elite as hell. Mm-hmm. Number five is a guy. Number five. Who also had a down year. He is a guy who also had a down year and should easily. We talked about this easily, easily. If he had a good year last year, easily could be number two. And that guy is Christian Yelich mm-hmm. from the Milwaukee Brewers. Yeah, man. At 29 years old, played eight years. He's amazing, man. And again, war. This is crazy. This his last two years before 2020, mm-hmm. he was, you know, let me let me correct my mistake. Uh, he actually had a war both years in 2018 and 2019 over. He had it higher than Cody Bellinger mm. at 7.3. Okay. Now we're talking Please about well. now we're talking about Mike Trout territory. Mm-hmm. And he was incredible. His OPS both those years over 1,000, yeah. and his expected numbers are way higher than his actual numbers. So I don't see this man going anywhere. I see no, him break. No, he no, could no. be easily number two. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that Christian Yale, and and that's. It's it's so difficult um, accounting for last season and trying to figure out how much does it mean, how much can we extrapolate from that, but also you know recognize it was only sixty games. Right. I'm not too worried at all. Christian Yelich will have a bounce back year and will be ridiculous once again. Uh, he's only 29 years old, so still like lots oh, of yeah. elite years left, man. Yeah. Um, he is just sign that big contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, man. Like he's just so 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 solid, and that's why he's at number five. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone from here on out. Nobody had a bad year in, nope. in 2020, and I think that's why that's why Yelich is there, and these guys are a little bit further up. And the fourth guy on our list is a young stud, is going to be um, a, you know on a Hall of Fame trajectory already, and that is Ronald Acuna Jr. He's 23 years old. He is incredible, man. He slugged 581 last year. Mm. Uh, you know he uh, he mm. along with Freddie Freeman are the heart and the soul of that. Oh, Atlanta Braves beautiful lineup beautiful I mean yeah like you said he's so young still and and he claimed before the pandemic he mm. claimed that 2020 would be the year that you're gonna see a 50 50 seasons 50 stolen bases 50 home runs mm-hmm, mm-hmm. he had 37 stolen bases in 2019 mm. so you know with that improvement with that growth he could achieve it. Do you think he's going to hit 50-50? Um, I mean, safe bet is no. Safe bet's no. But I, yeah. I do think that if anyone was going to, it would be this guy. Yeah, yeah. You I know, don't really like see if, anyone else yeah, yell at you. If anybody but, was going to do it, it would be Ronald Acuna Jr. And uh, and you see that in young guys. They like to steal bases. And, and he's got so much power, too, man. Like, 
He's just got. He's just overall going to be an incredible, incredible, yeah. incredible baseball player. Uh, and, and I'm sure that looking back on his career, it will yeah. be ungodly when it is all said and done. And that's why he's at number four because he's yeah. going to pop off. And, yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, the answer is no because if I thought he was going to have a 50-50 <laughs> season, he'd be number one. Right. Right. You know? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah there you right. go. There you so, go. No. You have to be so invested in him, yeah. right? <laughs> I don't think you. Right. Will. But he's like. I wanted to also just give a little cherry on top to his slugging. Uh, his slugging is expected is five sixty five. That's ridiculous. Like, that's messed up. That's ridiculous. That's in his whole career. So oh, yeah. yeah, he's gonna be crazy. I do think he might challenge forty. He'll get forty. I think he'll get forty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. And now coming in. The number three spot. We're getting closer, guys. To find out who's number one. <laughs> <laughs> number three. We've got the man. I love this man's name. He's one of my favorites to say is Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts coming in at the number three spot. Just got traded to the Dodgers. Man, he's man, unreal. It's got to be nice to be the Dodgers, eh? You have on our list, anyways, <laughs> number three and number, number six. six. And number six. That's pretty good. He had, he, we, they also had Will Smith, you know, on our catchers list. Wow, wow. <laughs> and I can already tell you when we do pitchers, they're probably going to have a pitcher or two. Yep, yeah, they might have a couple pitchers list on there. Maybe well. even a reliever on that with Maybe, the... probably, actually. Yeah. I can almost guarantee that oh, they yeah. will have a reliever on that list. So. We only got to hope, yeah. Blue Jays fans. Jesus Christ. And actually, and they were on the shortstop list, too. Oh, yes, they were. They were on Corey the shortstop Seager. list. That's Jesus right. Christ. This they're, team they're, is on crack. They're monsters. This team is on crack. They're monsters, man. Mookie Betts is one of those. Freaking monsters that they acquired last year. His offensive war in his whole career, 503. It's on crack. It's on crack. And his defensive war is also really good. He, he averages 2.6. That's one of the better ones on this list as well. Sounds like crack to me. Oh, man. Mookie Betts is unreal. He <laughs> He's also won five gold gloves, too. Let's just put that in perspective. Yeah. Four silver sluggers, four lower stars. I can just tell you all his accolades. Two World Series, batting title. Oh, my God. MVP. Mookie Betts is a monster. He's in his prime still. Yeah, He's still yeah. in his and prime. Like here, here are the slash lines from his past two years. Mm -hmm. Slash from 2020 is 292 uh, batting average on base of 366 and slugging of 562. And in 2019, it was 295 batting average, 391 on base, and wow. 524 slugging. Wow. I just think that you know exactly what you're going to get yeah. with him. And it's it's gonna be it's just gonna be really really good across the board. He's you're gonna, just gonna be really really good. You're gonna get a top three outfielder. In the yeah, outfield. I mean That's he's just, you're he's just nuts. And uh, you know, would any of us be surprised if he was number one? Absolutely nope. not. Absolutely. Literally any of these like no. I'd yeah, say most I mean, of these guys could yeah. have a chance. Yeah, to I would say one. honestly, like for me, it like I could honestly, I could even see Eloy Jimenez doing it. But it's yeah. like like realistically, like Bryce Harper onwards. I'm yeah. like these guys are just ridiculous. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. it's. You know, I, I want to say mm -hmm. George Springer's there, but I think his his ceiling's a little bit yeah, more capped cap. than some of these other yeah. guys. Um, talking about who is number one, we could not come up with a consensus. Uh, you know, we both stuck to our guns on this one. <laughs> I think Adam took the safer route. Yes. I decided to take a little bit more of a hot take route in this one. Um, so we did agree on on the same who, two yeah. guys, yeah, yeah, and those two guys are Juan Soto and Mike. Trout, the fish man. Mm -hmm. I said that Juan Soto was number one and Mike Trout was number two. Yeah. And you said the opposite. So tell me why you said Mike Trout was number one. Well, you, I think you said it almost for me. He's the safe route. Yeah. Who do I think is going to be the best outfielder in the entire mm -hmm. league? The safe route. The the guy who's literally better than half the Hall of Famers already. And he's only halfway through his career. Mike Trout. Mm -hmm. He's he's on freaking real you know what you want you want to hear what's crazy <laughs> i saw this stat his career ops is literally 1000 on the dot. yeah no it is that's messed up it his is. expected slugging is 610 whole career 610 that's ridiculous and that's ridiculous. he's again he's always top five in mvp voting every year mostly most of the time he's top three mm -hmm. and he's already won three mvps yeah and his offensive war to top it off is 7.93 on average for his whole career yeah. He's a god. Mike Trout's a god. I will pick him every year until I start seeing someone do better than that. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, with consistency. Mm -hmm, like no, Mike and, Trout. I, and I, I think that even regardless of what happens, like even you know if he, if like another guy <laughs> finishes number one, Mike Trout will still be considered, uh, you know, the the best baseball player oh, yeah. uh, in the league. You know, it's like like you said, it's like you can guarantee that this guy will be a top five, you know, player. Literally every single every season. Year. I would bet money season. that he's a top. Not even just outfield. It's just everyone. Yeah, you yeah, know, pretty much every, just everyone. everyone. It's like it's just always all the time. He's just always doing that. Yeah. I decided to say Juan Soto though because I am projecting that this guy is going to have an MVP type year 
in 2021. He is 22 years old. That is just so, so ridiculous oh, man, to me. He's already crazy. won a World Series, mm -hmm. uh, something that Mike Trout hasn't done. Certainly not his fault, mm -hmm. but uh, but something that he has not done <laughs> yet. So I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, you it's deserve rough. so it's rough, much, bro. Um, but this guy, his last year, and I know it was a short sample size, but it was redonkulous, man. He batted for 351 batting average, a 490 on base percentage. That means that he is getting on base literally almost half the time. 49% wow. of yeah, the time, yeah. <laughs> he is li he's going to get on base. Yeah, uh, That is on crack to me. Once again, uh, yeah, he's now, coming back to the drugs. Yeah, um, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and a 695 slugging. His last season was ridiculous. I'm anticipating that he builds off of that. And this is no fluke either. He's been crazy the entire time he's been in the MLB. And I'm saying his 20, uh, age 22 and age 23 season, like that we're doing right now, mm -hmm. is going to be something very special. And he's going to win his first MVP okay. this year. I also want to throw out this too. Like again, 2020, like um, it was again yeah, short sample size too, but his OPS was 1.185, so almost 1.2, which that's is crazy. We're talking close to Barry Bonds that's, now. That's literally. We're talking. That's just craziness. I think Bryce Harper, he better than. Oh, again, short sample size, but in 2015, Bryce Harper at a 1.1. Like yeah. that was unreal that yeah. year. No, it's uh, it, he truly is like insane. this guy. Like if you had to, if you had to pick anybody. If you had to pick any single player to build your team around, it would be this guy. I think from from yeah. this point on, like if, if you were on. if you were to do a you know like with ages included and stuff like that, you were to do like like a redraft. All the MLB teams did a redraft. I think that you know Mike yeah. Trout is definitely a solid choice, but this guy being 22 years old, I I would want to pick him first yeah. overall to build my team around. If I were to go back like nine seasons, I'd pick Mike Trout. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I do. That, like, yeah. Would, would you agree though that you think that this guy could be the next Mike Trout? He could be if he keeps it up. Again, I, the 2020 is a short sample size. He was a, he had a hot two months, you know, and like you see that. But like it'll be the great challenge for him in 2021 to see if he can somehow build off that. Not somehow he will. Yeah. Um. I don't know if it's going to be that high. I don't know. Uh, let's but we'll not, see. I, I do want to point because we're on this train right now. Yeah. In 2019, when he was 21 years old, his slash line was 282 batting average. A 401 on base percentage. Very nice. And a 548 slugging. So that's why I say this was no fluke. And uh, and I, I think that we're gonna see some ridiculous things we'll from see, Juan yeah. Soto in the in the coming seasons. So yeah. uh, that's our list, that's guys. Our list. Um, <laughs> let us know what you think in the comments down below about who should have made the list, who got snubbed. I was really hoping <laughs> there's a lot of people. Yeah, there's so many, so many people that got snubbed here, like Charlie Blackman. We were looking at JD Martinez, um, Martinez, uh, Stanton. Stanton. I wanted so badly to, to fit in Lourdes on this list. Yeah, but, uh, but he's, like, just, yeah. he's simply not up to snuff with these guys right now. He he's top ten in left fielders in the MLB Network's if, ranking. If we were to break it down by, you know? by uh, positional rank. Um, like that, I think he I would think make, he'd it. make it. But um, yeah, just overall, there's so so many good outfielders. Yeah. But let us know what you think in the comments down below about our rankings, mm -hmm. guys. And make sure to also in the description to follow us on Google Podcasts, Anchor, Spotify, Radio Public, and Breaker. And you can also check us out on our Instagram. We're also doing a giveaway. It might be over. We're gonna end it at a thousand subscribers. So make sure you subscribe. Send in your giveaway. Follow the instructions all in the comment, mm -hmm. all in the description down yes. below. Yes. Uh, Twitter. And as well, become a Patreon. We are moving into 2021 with this new wave of subscribers and yep, fans. Yep. We want to have a great baseball season with all you guys. Becoming a Patreon just adds that extra level of interaction that you wouldn't get before. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, become a mm -hmm. Patreon. Sign up today. We're growing, guys. Become part of the community. Thank you for watching. And go Jays go.